So Tom, state aid. State aid is about the general blocking exemption regulation and the de minimis regulation. And it's basically about blah, 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 blah. Hold on, wait for it. It's important. You may not know it, but it's important. State aid is what allows you to be subsidized by your public authorities. For example, when it comes to the employment of people with disabilities. Join us on the 7th of November to learn more about EU state aid regulations and how it can help you do better. And who should come to this event? Service providers, your local authorities, your national authorities, maybe even your uh, MEPs, invite everyone you know. Oh, hey Lisa, what are you doing? Uh, I'm reading Polish National Assessment on Early Childhood Intervention Services. Oh, that's interesting. How come? Because uh, we are preparing for the upcoming event that we organize together with UNICEF on the 29th of uh, November in Brussels, but also online. It will be about ECI services in the European Union with a special focus on the Ukrainian refugee families with small children and how they can access this support. We will be joined by people from the European Parliament, Commission, uh, Ministry of Social Policy of Ukraine and leading NGOs from Europe. It's a really good opportunity to advocate for greater support for refugee families, to uh, let know policymakers about the current situation, but also to network. Hey, Tavishi. Hey. Hi. So, what's on your mind? Inclusive education. What about inclusive education? Actually, digital inclusive education. Do you know how difficult it is to achieve that? Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> well, there's an event, the 1st of December in Brussels, and it's on digitally inclusive VET, vocational education and training. So what you get to learn is a lot of promising practices during COVID-19 that schools and universities, they used to make their classes more inclusive for people with disabilities. And you will also get to learn about this interesting handbook, which has guidelines, indicators, etc., on how you can basically achieve inclusive digital education. So, 1st December in Brussels, be there. Ah, hey, guys. Oh, hey guys, what are you guys doing? We're preparing for our event on inclusive sport on the 21st of November. Nice, what is it about? It's about how people can create inclusive sporting initiatives for persons with disabilities and how they can contribute to more inclusive societies as a whole. Cool, and who can join this event? Well, service providers, people interested in sport and maybe people uh, involved in sport clubs. Yeah. So see you there. Let's Woo! join us! Woo! That's my business card. Oh, thank you. What's it for? Um, I'm trying to network uh, because on 7th of November, I'm going to attend the Accessible EU networking event in Madrid. This is an online and offline hybrid event for uh, different stakeholders to know more about accessibility in all fields. Mm -hmm. So it's an event for different organizations who are interested in the, to know more about accessibility. Who else could come to this event? Well, NGOs, mm -hmm. um, policy makers, um, any private organization or any uh, organization who are providing service to people with disabilities who want to know more the European best practices uh, to implement accessibility in, in, in different sectors. Okay. Thank you. This is my business card. See you soon. What do we all need more of this winter? A warm embrace. Come to our conference on December 1st at the European Economic and Social Committee in Brussels to hear more about the power of inclusive education in early childhood and education and care settings. You will have uh, panels on different tools developed by the project partners. See you there.